vinegar battery. For this experiment, you'll need vinegar, two glasses, two zinc strips, two copper strips, connecting wires, and an LED bulb. Procedure. Take the two glasses and fill them with vinegar. Take the zinc and a copper strip and connect one of the ends of both the strips using a connecting wire. Put the connected zinc strip in one of the glasses and the copper strip in another glass. Take the remaining two strips, the copper and zinc, and connect them to the LED using the two connecting wires. Now, put the copper strip, which is connected to the LED, in the glass which has the zinc strip, and the LED connected zinc strip in the copper containing glass. You'll observe that the LED light starts glowing. Explanation When the plates are inserted into the glass with vinegar, acetic acid presented in vinegar makes a chemical reaction take place. Metal atoms are held together by electrical attractions between the nuclei and the electrons around the atoms. When you place a strip of metal in a glass of vinegar, the vinegar molecules interact with the metal atoms on the surface of the strip. At the interface between the vinegar and the metal, some of the metal nuclei are attracted to the negative sides of the vinegar molecules. This attraction makes it easier for a metal nuclei to leave one or more of its electrons behind the metal strip and migrate away from the strip into the vinegar. The strip is left with a very small negative electric charge because it now has one less positive nucleus in it. This tiny charge does not pull very much of the metal ion that has left the strip. In fact, that ion, a metal atom with one or more electrons missing, is quickly surrounded by the vinegar molecules whose negative side is attracted to the positive metal ion. This blanket of water molecules spreads out the positive charge over a large area, making it even less attracted to the metal strip. This is a very important temporary effect, and the metal ion usually gets attracted back to the strip very quickly. But since there is an enormous number of atoms on the surface of the metal strip, and an enormous number of metal ions are in the vinegar at any given time, the metal strip ends up with quite a few more electrons than the metal nuclei. This gives the strip a slight negative charge. If one metal strip has more electrons than the other one does, those electrons will flow from the first strip to the second one, until they both have the same charge. But to flow, the electrons need a conductive path. We give them that path when we connect the two strips of different metals with a wire. The electrons then flow through that wire, creating an electric current. So, the LED glows, and you get happy lighting. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel.